You certainly had much on your plate to digest within lesson one. Before we start with lesson two, we need to sharpen our understanding of teaching approaches. You've had the opportunity to hear about the transmission, developmental and nurturing teacher perspectives in lesson one. Although you are aware of what these three perspectives are all about, your commitment lies mainly with one perspective. There is a fundamental difference between the transmission perspective and the developmental and nurturing perspectives. This difference becomes evident in two broad approaches to teaching and learning. The teacher-centered approach from a transmission teaching perspective and a learner-centered approach from the developmental and nurturing perspectives. Worldwide and in South Africa, two broad approaches, namely teacher-centered and learner-centered, influence our teaching and learning. Before we start exploring how these two approaches influence our foundation phase teaching practice, we need to be able to interpret the meaning of the word approach. We also need to picture how teaching approaches, teaching perspectives, and teaching practices link. The Merriam-Webster Online Dictionary 2014 defines the noun approach as a way of dealing with something and a way of doing or thinking about something. A teaching approach is a particular way of dealing with teaching and learning. On the other hand, a teaching perspective describes teachers' views about teaching and is an approach that describes how teachers deal with these viewpoints when they are teaching. A curriculum policy is an official document that explains a country's perspectives on teaching by describing how teachers should deal with or approach their teaching practices. It describes teaching aims and outcomes. It gives guidance about how and when the teaching process should take place. It describes the usage of resources such as time, learning and teaching support materials, etc. Teaching perspective, approach and practice link and influence one another as pictured here. We are now ready to trace the influence of the teacher-centered and learner-centered approach because we know how to interpret the word approach in this discussion. We have, if you like, sharpened our tools of inquiry. For your practice activity, we're going to explore through a case study how these two broad approaches influence teachers' descriptions of teaching in a very different context. The case study took place at the University of Helsinki in Finland. A total number of 71 teachers were interviewed on their teaching perspectives in 2003 and in 2004. They had to describe themselves as teachers, their teaching practices, and the most important elements in their teaching. Teachers' descriptions were analyzed and the findings of this case study published in 2008. The study found that the teachers' descriptions fitted into two broad categories, namely a learning-focused approach and a content-focused approach. The aims of the learning-focused approach were to improve students' learning and to improve teachers' own teaching continuously. The aims of this approach link with the developmental and nurturing perspectives of a learner-centered approach to teaching. The aims of the content-focused approach were to transmit knowledge and to repeat traditional and well-known ways of teaching. The aims of this approach link with the transmission perspective of a teacher-centered approach to teaching. Teachers' descriptions were grouped into 10 aspects of teaching. Their descriptions fell into the two broad categories of the learning-focused and the content-focused approach. You will find this case study's findings as Appendix A in the reading section. Read this before you do the practice activity. Remember that we call the learning-focused approach the learner-centered approach in our South African curriculum policy documents. We call the content-focused approach the teacher-centered approach in our policy documents. We will be interpreting content and teaching outcomes in our South African context in more detail in the subject-specific modules that follow.